Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, you'll learn how to repeat timelines a couple of times or how to repeat them infinitely. And we'll also use the oncomplete callback function to continue with our animation. So far, we've only used the twin light and timeline light, but what if we wanted to create a simple preloader and repeat it until all the assets of the page are loaded and then animate and start our original timeline. So in this video, we'll cover just that. The first thing we'll do, we'll pause the original timeline. This will pause the timeline on a page load and then inside of the HTML, just above the header, we'll create the HTML for our preloader. I'll speed up again. Then we'll go to the CSS and style the preloader in here. Again, fast forward. If we look at it in a browser now, we'll see four dots centered on the page with a border radius 100% and the border two pixels with a transparent background, okay? We want to create a timeline which repeats infinitely and then at the end of it, after a couple repeats, we want to trigger the animation out of the preloader and on complete of that one, we will launch and play our original timeline. Okay, so let's go back to the JavaScript. Here we create two new variables. The first one, will be the dot. So dot will be all the elements with a class dot. And then we'll create another one for loader. And that will be the element with the ID loader. Okay, we'll reuse this later on in the loader timeline. And we can also create a loader timeline by copying the timeline, the original one, and we'll call this TL loader. Okay, same thing, timeline light, but we want these to play straight away on the page load. So we'll remove the pause from it. After the first timeline, we'll create a new comment, load a timeline, and start adding the twins to this timeline. We'll start with a stagger from two. The elements will be dot, the duration 0.3 and the from vars. I'll bring the from vars on a new pay, new line, two vars as well, and the duration like this. So we've got it nicely one line from vars, one line, two vars, and a stagger delay here. Okay, so dot is the element, 0 0.3 is the duration, from vars will be y0 and auto alpha 0 and the two vars will be y20, auto alpha 1, and the easing will be back, is in and out. In and out. Come on, Peter. Correct the spelling. 0 0.05 will be the delay between the starts of the twins, and the second twin will be from 2, dot from 2, the element will be loader, the duration will be 0 0.3, and again, I'll put this on a new line, so we've got nicely aligned. Okay, this should be it. We'll just change the from vars on the loader to auto alpha 1, scale 1 1.3, and the two vars will be auto alpha zero, scale one, and the is will be this time power zero is none. Okay, so that will be just fading. We want this loader to fade out at an absolute position 0 0.9. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're staggering the dots from y0 to y20. Okay, so they're gonna go down a little bit from the original CSS position and also fade in. And 0 0.9 into the timeline, we're also 
fading the loader out. Okay, let's see in the browser what this gives us. Okay, as you can see, the dots bounce in and then disappear. As you can see, there is an issue with the content being visible before the loader kicks in. So we need to go to the CSS and apply opacity zero to the header. Okay, this will prevent the header to show and we go straight into the loader. We want to animate the loader multiple times. So repeat this timeline and unfortunately timeline light. So the timeline light doesn't have the option to repeat this loader. Okay, we'll need to use the timeline max. So I'm going back to the HTML and changing the timeline light to timeline max, which will give us the option to repeat the loader, repeat minus one means the loader will repeat infinitely. Okay, so this will repeat the timeline multiple times. <laughs> but we did not change the timeline light to timeline max. Okay, so computer got confused and didn't replay it for us, but now it is working fine. So we've got it repeating infinitely using the timeline max, which is the biggest difference between light and max. The timeline max lets you set the number of repeats. So you can set any number from one and onwards up to minus one, which would loop the timeline infinitely. To continue our demo, we will go back to the timeline and set the number of repeats to two. After it repeats for the second time, we want to run. So on complete, we want to run a load content function. Okay, this will be a new function that will set up under the loaded timeline will be a simple function with console log, bring on the content, bring on the content that will load, that will run on the second repeat. So if we go back to the browser, bring the web developer tools in, we should see a console log on the second repeat. So we'll repeat second time and then we'll bring in the content in which will be another timeline which we'll set up in the next video. We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video, but if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads, then hop onto my website and sign up for free. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video.